Hi, Fran Torson here, and I have something new that I created that I'm going to share with you today. If you are a real estate agent who is part of the paperless revolution, I have something you can use today to help you strategize and organize your incoming referrals, and it's absolutely free. If your clients and customers love you, but you're not getting a steady stream of referrals week after week, every week, you can change that. It's probably a lot easier than you think, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. And in the next few days, I'm going to share some new tools, also free, that can help you make a shift in that area of your business and get the referrals you deserve. And so before we start looking at our first tool, the Referral Tracker, the Evernote edition, let's do a quick review of the types of referrals you get, and I'll share a little bit of background about this paperless revolution. You know, actually, the whole notion of revolution is special to me. My, my great-grandfather, John Jeremiah Flynn, fled from Ireland in the 19th century to avoid a date with a British hangman. He was a very revolutionary young man. And as a teenager in the 60s, I participated in a lot of peace rallies. They were peaceful peace rallies. And I used to contribute black armbands at those, at those events. And I, I remember one day when, when Daddy was very frustrated because he couldn't find any black socks in his sock drawer. And my mom was sure the clothes dryer was eating them. She just couldn't understand where they were disappearing to. And, and I confessed, I, I raided his sock drawer before a rally at my high school one day, and I passed them out to my friends who could tie them around their arms. You know, Daddy's socks made wonderful armbands. Well, he laughed. He laughed when I told him what I did, and he pointed out to my mom that this was evidence of my gene pool, a new generation in a long line of revolutionaries. And, uh, and the whole notion of a paperless real estate revolution uh, started way back in 2004, and that's when I had my first introduction to, ta to tablet computers. Um, you know, and in, the, in 2004, it was a couple of boomers leading the charge. Real estate coach Joanne Foslin did an interview with Jack Peckham on Real Estate Cyberspace Radio, and she talked about the advent of paperless real estate back in 2004. The next year, I saw Joanne at the National Association of Realtors Convention in San Francisco and watched her pass her motion tablet around a breakfast table to show off photos of her granddaughter. That was the first time I held a tablet computer in my hands. I was hooked and I bought my first tablet as soon as I got home in 2005. Of course, now this paperless real estate revolution has, has a new set of legs and there is a new generation of leaders emerging. Christina Weiss is a broker in Austin, Texas, who was doing a really, a really great job with iPad technology and training. Dean Owlett is a real estate agent in Phoenix, who wrote a terrific book about using Evernote in the real estate business. Stacy Harmon in California is an official Evernote ambassador. And Linda Davis is a Connecticut broker who started a Facebook group just about Evernote. You know, we've come a long way, baby. Now, let, let's see how we can use all this stuff to create new business and make more money. Let's focus on referrals and how we can use Evernote for this. In my book, The Real Estate Referral Manifesto, there's a section called Three Profitable Referral Profiles. And I wrote that section with definitions I borrowed from Dean Jackson and Joe Polish, internet marketers I met at a conference in Phoenix. Brilliant guys. The first type of referral is a passive referral. Passive referrals are the easiest and the best. This referral is the kind you get when you get a telephone call from out of the blue. It sounds something like this. Andrea, Bill suggested I call you to help me sell my house. Now, now note this, you did nothing overt to trigger the referral. It's a natural event and the prospect is primed to do business with you. The customer initiates the call. That's a sweet referral. Repeat business falls into the passive referral category when you don't have a plan in place that triggers events like that. So someone who bought a house from you five years ago calls you and tells you that she and her husband want to sell their home and buy something bigger. That person does not receive you know, regular correspondence from you. That is a passive referral. Uh, the second is a reactive referral. A reactive referral requires you to do something to make it happen to make that referral happen, to convert that prospect to a customer. It sounds more like this. Andrea, my friend Helen wants to sell her house. I suggest that she speak with you. Here's her number. She's expecting you to call. Okay, with, an, a, re, with a reactive referral, you initiate the call. That's also a sweet referral. 
Uh, Dean Jackson said he did a study that indicates 80% of real estate referrals are passive and 20% are reactive. All right, so, uh, so you don't get as many of these. Now, referral profile number three is an orchestrated referral. An orchestrated referral happens as the result of an intentional request for a very specific type of referral. You find the opportunity to become a part of the conversation and you seize that opportunity. Orchestrated referral business is the single biggest missed op- opportunity in real estate today. It is the single biggest missed opportunity in real estate. So, And there are three things that need to happen to create an orchestrated referral. Number one, there needs to be a discussion about real estate that is relevant to the work you do. That discussion may be in someone's home, in an office setting, at a dinner table. The discussion may be online in a blog post or a blog comment or in a discussion forum. Number two, at least one person in that discussion needs to think about you. The discussion must spark a thought about you and the services you offer. If a past client is having a discussion, here's an example. If a past client is having a discussion, the client may get that spark from memory based on a real-life experience she had working with you. Uh, If people are having a discussion about a certain real estate niche, maybe foreclosure sales or short sales or HUD homes, investment properties, there may be a spark of thought connected with content that you shared with them on your blog or in content you created in a special report, or in a webinar you presented, or in an email autoresponder follow-up campaign. The third thing that needs to happen is that person needs to have a reason to bring your name into the discussion. If one of the parties in the discussion is getting ready to buy a home or sell a home, the person who's thinking about you will share your name if that trigger thought about you is supported by trust, and if that person likes you as a person. You can design a plan that makes orchestrated referrals happen frequently. When you understand this process, that it, that this process happens intentionally, you can start to put the places, the pieces in place to drive more prospects into your sales funnel. So repeat business falls into the orchestrated referral category when you have a plan in place that makes that call happen. The operative word in that sentence is plan. And the first step in assessing your referral business right now, or the first step is assessing your referral business right now. So here's where we open our Evernote template, our inbound referral tracker. You can download the form template and import it right into your Evernote desktop client. When you start to work with this, take data from the last 12 months and enter it into the form. When you finish filling in the information, you'll have a good picture at a glance about your referral business. And once you have a solid idea about where your referrals originate, you can make a plan to get more. It's a simple form. Insert the name of the prospect. If you have another note with contact information about that prospect, you can link that file to the name here. If you don't have a client template, don't worry, there's one on the list uh, with an upcoming video. For now, this is all about referrals. Check whether this prospect is a buyer or a seller. Then consider the type of referral it is. Is this a passive referral, a reactive referral, or is it an orchestrated referral? That becomes a very meaningful set of data when you're finished completing the form. Who sent you the referral? Someone from your sphere of influence? Past client? Another agent? A present client? Perhaps a lender or another strategic partner? What is the name of the person who made the referral? Do you have a template for referral partners? Um, If so, link the appropriate note to the name in this box. If you don't have that template, you may just want to stay tuned for a future video. Just saying. Okay, and last but not least, here is a place to enter a number for your earnings. Enter the data for the last 12 months and create a new note with the template and then enter information every time you get a new referral. You know, maybe you want to keep a note, you know, for a month's work, the referrals and create a new, a new note, uh, you know, every month or so. Watch the trends in your real estate business. Where do most of your referrals originate? What is your plan to get more referrals? How's that working? There's a link below where you can collect the template for this form. You know, click on that, collect the form, and watch for more videos soon. And please leave a comment below and let's have a discussion about referrals. Thanks for stopping by. I will see you in the next video.